Today I want to record some video for you uh, for some basic training in Salesforce. So what I want you guys to think about is thinking of Salesforce is it's a platform where we have different objects and in Salesforce we call those objects S objects and those S objects are containers for information. Some of the ones that you probably know already are contact, lead, opportunity, but what you may not know is how those things are put together and structured in Salesforce. Um, and I want to go over some of that, so that to help you make more sense um, of some of the navigation and some of the permissions and sharing to make it easier to solve problems and troubleshoot. So the first thing we'll look at very briefly is a lead. Let's create a lead. So a lead is an object that's essentially what we think of as a flat file. It contains information about a person and a business or a company. So in many other businesses, especially business to business uh, types of setups, uh, a lead might be a person that we, whose information we get at a show. Um, it could be a business card. In fact, a business card is a really great way to think about a lead. And it has all of the person's information, not just about them, but also about where they work. So it's, it's company information and personal information combined into a single record. Okay. That makes leads uh, something that need to be further qualified. So a lead is a bit of a, a flat file, not a lot of relational data, just a lot of collected data that we need to further qualify. And the goal is to convert leads. Leads are also thought of um, as something that usually start with marketing. So marketing has uh, leads, or you may have what you call MQLs, marketing qualified leads, and you want to get those to SQLs or sales qualified leads, in which case the lead gets passed off into a sales process and converted. Uh, once qualified. So once we know the lead, um, we are ready to do business, maybe we've had a meaningful conversation or there is a certain milestone that has been reached, they move on. Going forward, we have, once the lead is converted, we get a setup of three new objects. We get an account, we get a contact, and an opportunity. And I want you guys to see how these things are structured. So I'm going to show you that everything actually belongs to the account. Okay. Accounts contain contacts and contain opportunities. The account represents business information, such as address, website, company name, number of employees, um, annual revenue, all kinds of things, anything that pertains specifically to the business entity. A, an account may have many contacts, okay? So this is a one-to-many relationship because at a business, at a company, um, obviously there will be many, many employees and there may be many people that we deal with at that company. So a business, an account, may have many contacts, and an account may have many opportunities. So what's a contact? A contact is an individual. This is information, contains information about the individual. It might be their direct line, their cell phone number, uh, obviously their name, their email address, um, and other types of personal information, their title, etc. Okay, so a contact is information about an individual, not about the company. They are related back to the company through this relationship. So when you're looking at a contact, you can obviously, uh, you should be able to see on the contact, what's the account, and it will tell you what account it belongs to. And that specific relationship is what gives it to that one to many, because many contacts can reference the same account, and therefore they belong to that account. Now an opportunity is about the deal. In, in, a, in a classic business transaction, this is about the deal. So an opportunity has stages. It's a place for monitoring process. Um, where are we in this deal? How much is this deal worth? What products are we trying to sell? Which contacts are important to us on this deal? Who is our sales rep? And when do we think this deal will close? 
And of course, over time, uh, we want to have many deals, right? So this is why this is another one to many. I sell this account my widgets one year and then I sell them more widgets the next year and I have a new opportunity. And then the following year I have another opportunity. Uh, and then I sell them some new products and I have another opportunity. So that's why we have one to many here as well. Um, one account over time, or maybe even at the same time, may have many opportunities. So we have the business, the person, or the many people, and the opportunity, or many opportunities. And they all are housed under the one account.